Whoa. Now we're on the edge of the crater. Oh, that's a new one. That's a new shield. I've stirred the hornet's nest now. Nice. Right by the moon. You go away. Oh, look at that, guys. Or maybe we can make a wall like, to protect us. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we are back playing Terratech Worlds. And for this episode, we are going to go inside of the crater and finally get a close look at what's inside and what's around that area. And we're going to try to take over the, there's a giant enormous base over there, like a big tech base. And so we're going to explore that base and see if we can take out all of the little tech guys that are running around. And we're going to use our own new little tech bot that I've designed off camera and I'll show you more about this guy here in a minute but for the main plan what I want to do is get inside that crater and actually set up a like a, a little mini base to refine some of the materials that we collect because I need some more titanium and I need a few other things and let's see what do we need actually because I want to launch our I don't know if this is the last objective that we have for this but on our launch pad we're in expert mode now or whatever I guess that means <laughs> and we need to launch these resources so I need to put in the rocket fuel a whole bunch of fine tung tungsten and then some titanium and then some strontium so we have some of this material over here. I don't think we have everything, but I want to go ahead and add this to our rocket. And let's add that, this, and, oh no, wait, what, what am I adding? Oh, we have to, oh, I can't even add it all. So we had to let it fill up first. So I have almost everything. I'm, I'm like one thing short on titanium unfortunately so that is why i've already like mined a ton of titanium over in the snow area over there in that little uh, region and i figured you know for this last I, again i keep saying last i don't know if it's really the last mission that we need to do here but if we look at our objectives we have this rare resource that we need to get and it looks weird so it's a license for a terrain level up another work in progress device so i don't know what that means exactly what's level up so i'm kind of just guessing that that's a like maybe a terrain builder just doesn't make any sense i don't <laughs> i i don't know what that would be used for in this game exactly so, I mean, I'm really guessing that the devs really have some big plans for for some upcoming mining capabilities. Because we have the new mining cannon laser thing that I've shown in the past two episodes. <coughs> and that's pretty cool. Like, I like what it does. But again, like, it's not 100% necessary. I mean, it is if you want to get 100% of the, of, the, of the mineral or the ores or whatever. So... That's the big benefit of that is you can you can pull things out of the ground in their full chunk without you know destroying everything. So that's a giant benefit, but I don't know what a terrain leveler is going to do in this case. Unless unless we can like build out like and make a and make a path. Oh, maybe that's what we can do. You know, like so over in the area between this biome and that biome, there's a river over there. Part of it is like like deep it's like ocean and so we can't actually we have to like you know so let me show you so like see i can run around in this just fine and this is like the like, you know kind of like the shore and so but if you go right here like i can't go anywhere right so i mean i, I can very very slow and that's like the deep ocean and so maybe we can use the terrain level up thing to build a path over these areas that that are too deep so I don't know, I'm just kind of taking a wild guess at what that would be used for. So <laughs> so we're gonna like explore that and see, but I, I definitely want to, to, to get that thing. And I just picked up something, so let's put that back. And so I need to launch this rocket off, but I don't have enough materials. L let me see, I'll put the rest of this. So we're almost there. I think I have 90 of the tungsten and this is the strong team. I think I have enough of that and enough rocket fuel. So we're checked off on the rocket fuel and we are checked on 
this one, I believe. 12, 10, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's gonna fill up. That one's six, yeah, no. So we're gonna be at 90, I'm at 29, god dang. Uh, so, <laughs> I've had to like a few hours of like mining titanium. It is, is a uh, kind of a brutal experience. Plus with all those crazy plants, as a, it just, man, they get you. So, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. And in that, we got a storm coming in, so that's great. In that process, I have built a new tank or a new, I call this like a, kind of like a battle scout type thing, you know, like a combat scout. So essentially, before I had a giant tank that we were building in the last episode, something that I could kind of roam around, take my time and just destroy everything that came into my path. Uh, so that is, you know, that was a great design. It seems to work okay. And we, we are still going to take that tank into the, the crater area, but I kind of figured that I need to be a little quicker and a little bit more nimble. So I built this guy up and he is probably the fastest thing that I've made so far. It's very stable and I can like, I tend to run into those rocks or run in or lose my wheel in the front. That's like probably the most common thing that I do. So I added four wheels in the front this time I never lose my back wheels really so so I always hit something and lose a front wheel and then that kind of just starts a snowball effect and I start you know not being able to get out of the uh, trouble that I'm in and then we get blown up so with this you know hopefully I'll still you know can lose a wheel and get around and be a little bit more stable which seems to have worked so I have a lot of shielding on this guy and I have these uh, electric shields and I have a lot of armor plating and then we have these little weapon mounts that give us some turbo boost and so I'm still like really trying to figure out these little turbo boost things I, I did I mess around with those a lot in the last episode and you know it seems like they work sometimes and sometimes they don't work and it might just be like you know how the vehicle is set up or whether it's over the limit or near the capacity or weight or I don't really know there there's some kind of variable that makes it seem like it's working one way and then another way it's not it doesn't seem like it's doing anything but with this vehicle it's definitely working like we're I mean look at we're already like jumping things and I mean we're super fast we don't slow down for anything we can climb up this giant hill and we can oh my gosh it goes so fast i flip over a lot so <laughs> so we have to be careful but this guy is kind of i mean really a, just more of an accident like i just really experimented with changing the where the wheel placement was i took my previous design my previous scout design and i just wanted to put the wheels in the front well i was like okay and then i'll add some some weapons and everything i had like miss like one set of missiles on the back so i ended up putting two missiles in here some shields around it i put this cab on it because this cab amplifies everything with a plus four and it has the superconductor and it has the recycle and it has the nanobot repair so it really it, it affects everything that is touching this cab so that's great and so i have all these guns and everything mounted directly onto the cab so they get all the benefits of the turbo so they're faster they like turn and shoot a little faster and they have the amplify which is a plus six because i have some of these little ampli weapon mounts on here and so they're super super powerful and so now that they kind of become my new favorite thing and so now i use this as my primary and then my missiles are like a secondary and and yeah so that's kind of the plan and so that's what we're going to do i've already filled up my inventory with some carbon and a fragmenter and i've also brought the frost regulator so i, I went over this in the last episode a, a little bit we kind of just discovered it and this thing creates a big giant thunderdome that goes around your base it covers a good chunk of land and it puts you into oh my gosh i'm running i forgot I, it makes me overheat because i have i have my <laughs> my little tech rover just right at a certain limit so that he's slightly overheated and then slightly at the right temperature when we're in the snow mountain area but yeah so there creates a giant dome like over your base and keeps it regulated as far as temperatures go and so turn it off and there we go let's go here and repair um and so i want to put this in the snow biome somewhere i don't know where exactly i, I brought some extra supplies to stick it over there i got some other mounts and 
a silo and you know and some little silos so we can just kind of figure out what we can do over there and then I don't need to make anything else I may make a, a little tech yard over there but I, I don't know so that's the plan and we're gonna head out and go over there right now I believe I think we kind of have everything set up oh let me check my ammo let me check ammo ammo so we have a bunch there I have a few hundred five hundred six hundred about 700 rounds of heavy oh no I have more than that seven yeah so two for two yep way more okay and then I have a bunch of rockets I have a little wheel I don't need that I'll leave that there I don't need wherever that came from and I definitely don't need these guys so and how do I keep picking up this stuff so all right so we're gonna get this and make sure I want some conduit so I'm bringing conduit I have my mining laser and we I have this little furnace thing too I don't really know I don't think we're gonna be able to use that I don't think it works um, yeah, and then I brought an extra pulse furnace, and then let's check our key binds, make sure pulse furnace is there, primary is there, secondary, and that thing's off. So let's head over there and just see what kind of trouble we can get into. I know a bit of a shortcut to the area, but we're probably going to have to clear out some of those crazy flowers, because, man, those things really uh, can really get on your nerves a bit. So we'll show this cannon in action here. I gotta hit him first. There we go. Bam. Bam. So, so I usually get him with a, a hit with the cannon, and then if I can, like that, and then I'll while they're like disabled or repairing, I'll slap them with a little double round of missiles. So that seems to work pretty good. And my missiles are a little bit boosted too, are they not? Yeah, they. I have plus three. So. So I'm still doing pretty good. I don't need my little heater furnace thing yet, whatever it's called. So let's see how fast we're, I mean, we're trucking. We're doing good. We'll get over there in no time. So I'm going to save some of my stuff until we get over there. Watch out for these little snow ticklers. Bounce us around. And I know that once the sun, I don't know if it's coming up or going down. But something's happened. Oh, where are you guys going? Oh. They were they're on a mission somewhere. Uh, oh, gosh. Sometimes it's kind of hard to aim this thing. It has a, quite a bit of drop to it. Oh, see ya. Holy cow. That guy. He, like, disappeared. Wow. This wheel just now came down. So we'll put a, a rocket right there. That should take care of that guy. Thing. If I can get it over there. Wow. Oh, whoa. Yeah, I really am my own worst enemy sometimes. Alright, so let's go over here. Oh, hey there, guys. Where are you going? I'm really sure if these have like some kind of aiming thing on them. Holy cow, look at that. Let's see. Lay a rocket right there. Bam. <laughs> that was great. And then sometimes I can make these guys stop when I go. And like kind of predict where they're going to drive. Launch a missile. They'll like stop sometimes. Didn't. And then. Oh my gosh. See ya. Oh boy, we got another guy coming in. See how he turned? So sometimes you can like predict that action. Man, am I losing a wheel? Now my healing is not the fastest right now. Off of me. There we go. Get him away. I think we're doing okay still. So I'll come over here, get temperature up a little bit. I have to make use of these areas. You're still kicking. There we go. Alright, so we have our temperature. 
good, and so our little wheel is about to fall off any second. See what I mean about the wheel? That was the <clears throat> pop off there. So let me heal up for a second. Yeah, that wheel's at 27%. So let's get it a little higher. All right, guys, so we are all healed up. The shade is coming in, so temperatures are dropping now. And I saw some more dudes coming in over here. I'll take care of these guys real quick. So let's get that guy out of there. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Get that guy. Because I need to go up to where there are. there's a shortcut somewhat. All right, we are going up this little cliff right here. And this should bring us pretty close. Once we make it up here. Oh, come on. Oh, oh don't. There we go. Man. Oh, no, they don't fall over. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Just set up. Do I need a bit of a running start? Normally, I can get up that just fine. It's the first time it's happened. All right, let's try this again. There we go. All right, so I don't know what that was about. Yeah, so we're like right at the edge. That's like a really close, I had no idea it was this close to where I was. So we came in, so we came in right over here in this little opening and just went straight up this little ridge right here. And now we're on the edge of the crater. So let's figure out how to get into this crater thing. We gotta watch out for those things right there. Those are gonna boot us into oblivion get rid of these guys real quick clear out some of these things okay so we're a bit warm being here so i'm gonna have to wait till my shields lower so this is like the real tricky part is managing the dang heat and cold differences so i can't really go any closer but i have to be close enough that when our shield goes away i have to like dart into the into this crater there it goes so now our temperature is going to come down okay so we're at a good temperature right now now if i go closer i may have to pull some things off oh yeah we're still getting too hot so we're really gonna have to just edge around this thing so let me pull back a little bit and what i can do i think is i really don't know what i can do let's see probably could pull some panels off here. I know these are my sh little armor panels. I should bring our start bringing our temperature down every time we pull one of these off. All right, I think we're I think we're okay right now. So I had to pull some things off to manage my heat, which I have to make sure to put back on when we run back out of here. So. Now we need to find a way down. I mean, I could just run down there, I guess. But see, look at all those guys. And it might even get more, more hot. Or, oh, 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 don't go just yet, dude. Not ready to just plunge on in. Okay, so let's just run around the outside here. I don't see any of those plants, though. I'm sure they're gonna be over here. We're gonna go to the base first. Try to take care of it's around the base. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, dang. Almost hit that thing. Nope. Ooh, that was close. Take out this crazy thing. Yeah. That rock wasn't there. <laughs> Would have gone right into that. Okay, there's another guy right there. Okay, good. Alright, so. I think. Uh oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, shoot. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Didn't see those crazy flowers over there. So when we get a bit of a target lock on these guys, our little rocket thing fires much better. The meteor rocket I took out. There we go. Oh, no, we're all... There's one of those guys right there. 
All right, so took out these guys. I see, like, man, look at all that copper up there. And another crazy plant. This looks like the main, like, entrance way into this place. So it's basically on the far side. We came in right over there. And so we're on the exact opposite side from where we started. So just for you guys to have an idea. So there are some resources around. Oops, let's get back from that thing. And, oh, there's a lot going on over here. So let's get rid of that plant right there. All right. So it looks like we can go down this way. Are we getting... What the... Oh, dang. How did I not see that thing? Oh, no, don't go down. Don't go down. Oh, my gosh. Are you guys kidding me? What the... I can't... Oh, my God. Will you turn over... Dude. Oh, my God. And, and I... Jeez. We gotta get it back up there before I freeze to death. What the heck? Okay. Apparently... My thing is a freaking sled when it's upside down. Okay. So we're going to have to wait till my, sh <laughs> my shield goes away. Where is that thing? I didn't even see it. God, these things are so hidden. Oh. Got it. Okay. So now we can go. My shield ran out and I can finally make it into here. There's another freaking what those things are called but it's just I do not like you guys at all not even a little bit just please go away all right now and then while we're in here I actually like binded my key for the heater so I don't accidentally turn it on ah wow, so this is like a bridge or something what in the world are we doing over here okay pretty cool Anything, can I go on over here? So that's the base. Little hand right there. Okay, I don't see any silo things. Are there any silos? This doesn't look like a finished base. Oh no, there's a, it's like multi-level. a cool little shot there so any, oh there are some silos over here looks like some dudes are getting mad at us firing some stuff at us so how can I get out of here all right let's see about taking out these things right here this should I don't know if they'll make these guys spawn or what I gotta watch out for that freaking plant that's behind us. Let's uh, get rid of these guys. I don't know if those things are gonna come up after us when we start firing or what. I wanna take out these things first. What is that that just popped up in here? That is popping off. Just kinda curious what that is. I'm destroying everything over here. There it goes. There it goes. Uh oh, I'm stuck in that hole. Okay, so what did we get? Anything from that? So we destroyed it. Okay. All right. Let's go right there. And then we're gonna go down. We have one more over here we have to do something with. Alright, so we gotta take care of that thing. I have to only use these guns though. Hey, wait a second. What? What in the world? Somebody's like shooting at me. Come on. There it goes. Okay, so now we should be able to grab the contents of what's inside of these things. Oh my gosh, I can't see. All right, oh, look at that. 
we have a bunch of resources there. We're going to grab all that. And then this one, we're going to grab the tungsten. Oh, look at that. That's everything we need. We don't even need to mine anything. Gold. Somebody's, somebody's firing at us. Oh my gosh, look at all these shields. Whoa, that's a new one. That's a new shield. We're still finding new stuff, guys. There's another one. They're different. I don't even know where to put all this stuff. I feel like these guys are like trying to shoot my floor. <gasps> They're trying to shoot my floor out. Okay. Oh my gosh. They are shooting the floor. Drop me down. Okay. Easy, easy, guys. Let me, uh, oh no. Oh wow, they're, they have actually, okay, we'll have to come back. We need to go gear these guys. We have to, we're going to have to come back before I can't get out of here. Okay. So let's take care of those balloon plants that are going to be on the way down, I'm, I'm assuming. Because those are going to be our worst enemy down here. I want to see if I can do some damage from these to these guys from up here. Uh, why can I shoot? There we go. Boy, they got the grenade thing. They got their own rockets. Damn. Oh, gosh. I've stirred the hornet's nest now. It's these guys. Holy cow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not supposed to be up here. Get back down there. Oh, my gosh. That, my missile. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Who's messing with me? Somebody shot some stuff off of me. Okay. Whoa. Alright, I know where one of the balloon things is. Yeah, that's one guy out. Man, there's so many of those little flower things. I have a hard time. Are we healing up at healing? God, I can't even say the word healing. Healing. Are we healing? Uh, yo, get back. Oh, gosh. Oh, that missile launcher guy. Okay. Damn. Oh, no. God dang it. That drives me nuts when it happens. What happens to his missile? Why does it do that? Oh my gosh. Does my missile squirrely like that when I fire it? Okay. That guy, we gotta get that guy out of here. Oh. Oh god. Oh dang. Our repair. Holy moly. Are we gonna repair fully? It's been driving me crazy if we don't. Okay, looks like we did. Okay, take off. Good. Oh, we're right next to that thing. Wow. That really got me too. I knew this area was going to be tricky. Uh oh. Damn. Okay, so there's one of those little ground ticklers. Okay, are we? We're actually getting more warm. I had to pull some things off. Oh no! Get back. That guy. What is that? Witch fire plasma injector. I think. Okay, that's a normal thing. Okay. There we go. How far can we shoot this thing? Because there are a lot of dudes still left. And I need a quick way to 
Oh my gosh, what am I stuck on? It's so dark over here, I can't see. Apparently I'm on a rock. Okay, let's just go here. We need to take care of that guy right there. I need a quick way to run back up here. Okay. I think we're good there. Let's see if we can fire over there, maybe. Is that going to make it? Nope. I can just come up here. Oh, here they come. Oh, see you later, man. That's gonna be a hard fall. What's in the middle of this thing? What is in the middle? Okay, let's go. Can the rocket make it over there? Yes, it can. Nice. There's another guy right there. Bam. Okay, if we can do this, then we can peck all these guys away. I don't hit any crazy flower things. Oh my gosh, how are we hot? I mean, cold. How are we getting cold now? Oh my gosh, I gotta get out of here. I, I disabled my heater. So, re-enable. Good lord. Okay. So, I guess there is a storm coming through. So, when the storm's over, we're gonna just fry, I guess. That's gonna be fun. Maybe we can get rid of these guys. Oh gosh, there's a whole bunch of dudes over there. There we go. He flipped himself back over. those things over here. Uh-oh. Rocket dude. Man, I cannot get lock on that guy. Uh-oh. Oof. I got one on me. guy doesn't have any. I'm going to have to repair. Jeez Louise. Where is that rocket dude at? There he is. close. You are too close. Yep. Too close. It's amazing. Still go. Oh! Okay. Maybe, maybe not now. Don't like those guys either. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. oh my gosh. Holy devastated that guy. 
we still have that guy over there. He's gonna come back to see us. We'll get rid of him. Okay. We have these guys like the death pit over here. Oh! these flowers. I'm trying to make it to the center. Okay. When this storm is over, I hope we don't burn up. the rocket launchers. Alright, I'm so glad I made a ton of them. Okay. We got that. Oh, we're, now we're super hot. We're going, we're heating up now. How can I, can I find my, where's my heater at? Before I start cooking. Oh, okay, there it goes. Oh, that's close. Okay. Uh, we're still like overheating. So the further we go down in here, the hotter we're getting. So do I need to pull off some other things here? I guess I can pull off these shields. Bring our temperature down a little bit. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Wow. Crazy. It's going to be hard just to get out of here. Uh-oh. Oh, that guy still got rockets? Oh my god. Okay, he's still firing rockets. Holy cow. Whoa. Gotta end that guy. Uh-oh. guy right there. Flower thing, whatever. Whoa. Alright, so we got this guy. We could blow that guy. This guy we need to blow up. We got that guy over there. I'm sure all these guys are going to come back. Oh. Right, there's a plant there. Okay, we got them. And yeah, here's somebody rolling around over here. Looks like there's maybe some new parts or something down here too. Found a new shield, so that's pretty cool. Now, what is the, is this just regular like water? 
Oh, crap. Dang it. Okay. Did not see that there. Those crazy things. Okay, there's right there. Like, what is that thing? There's a couple of things I'm seeing over here. Like, what is that? Is that... No, that's a use of... Base or something. But this looks a little different. Oh, that's one of those guns. Okay. I just don't usually see those around. Okay, get these crazy things out of here. Do some weed control here. way if we have to come back in here which I'm sure we're going to oh wow look there's a rocket dude over there uh, okay oh whoa he almost got me Are these guys spawning back or something? I don't know if they are. I know they did come back. They really need to make it to where the flowers respawn. Stuff like that, or regrow, or so whatever you want to call it. I mean, they're annoying, but we need them as resources too. So. Okay. Anybody left? Got that guy right there. Uh, not anymore. Is that guy still is shooting rockets. Gosh, he's gotta not. I mean, so crazy. Oh, you know what? I'm kind of curious. You know, let's see. Let's try something since I think I have most of the things out. So I want to try this on those flower things. So let's put this guy right there. And let's, since we have everything here, we will just turn that off. Okay. I don't need to accidentally turn the heater on. Now I'm curious. Like, here's the flower. Can, can I, oh, yeah. See, this thing just devastates those flowers. I'm sitting here wasting all that ammo. Look what we just figured out. See, here's one of those things. Look. Man, that's great. I don't have to worry about those things now. So, clear out the ground. Yep. See, this, it's just a little bit, not even a whole lot. How far does this thing go? It doesn't go very far. rock. So now we should be able to like cruise around here and look. Uh, oh gosh. Okay. How did I miss so close? Whoa. Hoping to get a second shot off. It's amazing. So you can dig pretty. I could like dig a little cave with this thing. All right, that's that works fantastic. I think we did it, guys. I think we got everybody in this area. Now, one thing I was kind of shocked and still shocked about is I don't see any crazy titanium or any crystals or tungsten in here at all. <laughs> that was the whole like reason I came over here. So that's kind of bananas. 
Oh, dang. He did not. There we go. If I mine underneath the pillar, does it fall down? Oh, it does? It does do damage to it. Look. That's weird because to a rock, it doesn't do any damage to a rock. But to the pillar, it's actually doing some damage. Wow, look at that. I mean, it takes forever. But that's good to know. There's still some dudes roaming around. Did they come back? Oh, I think they did. I think they're spawning back. That's not what I needed. That is not what I needed. Okay. Uh. There we go. Come on, dude. So this place is just so big that these guys are just going to spawn back. Are they back on the other side over there too? Yep, I actually see them spawning back. See all the little lights coming on. And I just saw that guy drop out of the air. So, I guess that answers that. But at least we got all those little crazy flowers out of here. So. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Oh, dang it. I have any weapons left after that? Got that. Did he explode himself? Jeez, man. I was gonna try to set up a little base over here. So we could run to it and repair. I wonder if I have enough resources to do that. do it now at this place so let's see what do we need to do that we need to get rid of some things yeah I don't really need all this right now and we need to make on our little guy here one of these so we need wait well we need a tech yard but we need a refined thing first so shoot we have to make a workbench oh Okay, I guess we just made a workbench. Let's turn this base into something. Okay, if I pull that off, put it back, it's still damaged, huh? All right, well, I'm glad I brought some pieces. Let's see, go right there. It's not going. Is that a smaller? That must be made up of smaller pieces or something. Or no, maybe this goes over like that. Yeah, okay. Alright, there we go. So if I put this in our inventory, that should. Keep it repaired. Okay, so we can put this like kind of like right there. And then we need a power station, right? I did bring one. So we'll put that right there. And I wonder if this frost thing will actually protect us here. Interesting. Okay, so we're gonna do let's see if we can set up a little turn this place into a little mini base. All right, so we need to make that thing, but that requires a refinery thing, uh, which I don't have. It's not even a reason to, to use this over here because there's no titanium down there. I can't believe it. So that's the workbench. That's, I need that. So with the workbench, I can make the refinery. So we need copper. So copper, I did see copper. However, 
Um, the copper was a little out of reach. There we go. So, kind of building this little base back up, they did a lot of damage to it. Okay, so where can I find some copper? Because those guys didn't drop any copper, did they? Maybe they did. Maybe I can just go mine some of their parts. Let's do that. I don't know how I'm going to... I don't have my laser, though. Oh, I do have a laser. Okay, so we can put the laser right there. And put the laser on the control key. Alright, and... That did not give us nothing. Okay. So we're getting lots of the... Spronium, whatever the heck it is. They should have just named these things their own little names instead of scientific names that nobody can pronounce. Well, that piece is about to fall out. Okay, let's do this. Oops. Oh, I guess I just put it there. I should be able to. Trying to stick it back in there. How did they build this base, man? Can't I can't see inside the freaking maybe we'll zoom out like out here. Can I get it to go in that hole? Get in there, man. Get in the hole. Almost oh wait, wait. It was almost there. I really wish we could use like, can we use the, nope, like the up down arrow keys to position it where we want it to go. That's not it, is it? How's it going down? Maybe we'll do it from this angle, like right here. Come on, go up. guys well a winter storm came in and apparently I got I did not have a little heater and so I'm gonna have to run back over here <laughs> so I don't have any of my stuff either great okay well it's a good thing I kept some extra fuel around not gonna need a whole lot of that and I think I have some ammo so grab some of that and got any rockets? Yes. So we'll just grab some rockets. And then I'm gonna go run back over there. But what do I need though? I needed I needed enough to make a what was it? A refinery. So let's go to here. Alright, time to go. I'm still cold. Jeez Louise. All right, I am back here again, so. <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. Apparently I need two heaters now. I don't know why. I guess because I took off all the panels. This is what I'm saying about the dang heat management. It's like there's so many levels to it. So I can either stick two heaters on. I guess we're just gonna do that. Let's find another heater. Let me just throw another heater. I'm just gonna throw it right there on top. And man. Just give me some stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna grab like, like a couple of these. Like four. And because I just need to go like a hundred feet to go get my stuff. <laughs> I don't need any weapons. I'm just gonna go. 
because it's right over here. And let's test our heaters. Okay, so we're too hot. Okay, getting my stuff back at where we started, or where we died. And dang, winter storm came through. And one heater just was not enough. So, grab all of that stuff. And all of that. And I think we're going to have... Okay, we can put down the refinery right here. That's... Uh, what in the world? Put the refinery right there for right now. And then we need a the build yard. So, let's just put it, like, right here. Where I can just run. I don't have to, like, go all the way into that mess. I can just run up right here. There we go. And, that, and then we can claim it, right? How do I, how do I claim it? E. There we go. Hey, yay. So now I can rebuild with all my stuff. And... Are we too hot, though? We're, right, we're good. Okay, so... That brings to question. I don't really like this thing right here. Unnecessary. Necessary. I'll just put that up there like that. Uh, sure. Okay. There we go. It's a little bitty hole. It was like in the ground like that. Okay, so let's go down here. And we're going to get our super dome thing. The thunder dome. Let's put... I don't know why when we're underneath this ramp, I can't... I can't transfer anything. I can't select it. So I have to... Like, what's going on? Can I do it now? That's weird. Like, I can't do it when... I guess it's because it thinks I'm selecting the floor or something. I don't know. Very weird. Um... Okay, let's just, I'm just trying to make some room for this stuff. That thing is ginormous. But this makes better sense. Having this thing somewhere. Okay. Let's go back through here. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? This little rover so fast, it just self-destroys itself. Okay. So, let's see where we can... Can we just plug this thing, like, anywhere? Put it right there. It's in the way. really wish we could really span out. I feel like we need to put it, like, up on something. Let's just try it. Why did that not stick there? Yeah, let's just try it there. And then let's put some carbon in here. Oh, is it not enough? Yeah, it seems like my worst nemesis are rocks and plants. So we're going to do this. And then what I think we're going to do from here is run back to our main base with our tungsten because now we have a good amount of tungsten and we have our titanium somewhere so where is the titanium there it is okay good thought we lost it so we're gonna run back we're gonna do that and do that missile launch and see what that other thing is it looks like we cleared out this place it definitely was challenging so I'm kind of surprised that there's no tungsten over here or like ores to mine or anything special on in here like there's not even, even any crates over here so we found like crates and some other things so i am wondering if they're going to do more with this area in further updates or if there's a new pl a different plan for this because i feel like this should have been a little harder and there should have been some more like some other kind of like reward or something like that i don't know but let's go back to the base the main base and see what we can do with that other device okay so we're back at the base and of course we brought everybody along with us so we're just gonna go ahead and take all these guys Bug us at the 
face. What are you guys doing out in the water? Whoa. On it's ridiculous. <laughs> so we can just run over. There we go. Okay. Just refined the materials we need for this thing. So let's see, we need to add a little bit more tungsten. So we can add that. And then we need to add the titanium. And those should be the last two things on this. Let's put this uh, thing up here. All right, and I gotta launch this thing. So we're good there. Look at that. Now launch. Nice. Right by the moon. Okay. So we should get the reward for that here in a second. We'll put this back over here. And then we need to add some carbon to our little thing here. There we go. And now let's see what we got for our reward. Oh, we still have another one. Holy cow. I thought this was the last one. So claim the reward and that's the license for the terrain level up. What in the world is that? Oh, this is, okay, so that is aluminum, iron, and copper. I think I have some of that, let's see. Aluminum, iron, two copper. So look at that, guys. We might be able to do two. That's going to charge up. We might do two launches now for 500, 500 build bucks or whatever they're called. Block bucks or I don't know what they're called. Look at that. So we'll take all that back out and launch. I'm curious to see what's after this. We'll go build that other thing here in a second. Hopefully it doesn't require a bunch of purified copper. <laughs> okay. Go over here. Oh, we still have more. So we're going to claim that. Claim it. And that's 600. And that's chlorine, lithium, and carbon. All right. So there we go. We're building it. Building it. Okay, cool. So, what the heck does this thing do? Let's start this thing off real quick. Get that making some chlorine blocks because we gotta refine those. I don't know if I have the other, yeah I do. Oh, there, okay, good. Uh, now, let's take this late. Let's just replace it with this thing. Actually, you know, whoa, that's big. Put that down. This here, put that on that side, and let's put some key binds to these things. So we'll make, let's just turn off this, and what we'll do is we'll make this one that. All right. Okay. So let's see what this does. All right. Let's get out the cold. Let's go over here. And normally, like we refine, we use this to refine the ores, pull them up out of the ground. So like here's some ore. And normally we would use this to dig a hole underneath it all like that. And that loosens all those pieces up. And now that, 
not really sure what it's doing. Oh, it's got like a little, can we, can we, it's got like a little terrain thing. So look at that. Can we, how do we, can we do anything else with this? Choose it up, okay. Oh, great. You go away. Okay, so we made like a little hill. And then I can use this one to take it down and build that up. All right, let's go do what I was thinking earlier, which was maybe make a crossing through the deep water. So, God, there's so much stuff over here. I should start trying to clean up my base a little bit. It's just tons of carnage everywhere. Okay. All right, so. Can we... We built, can we make a thing out? Oh, we can't. It's not doing it. Well, maybe. Wait a second. It is a work in progress. It seems to be at like a slope or something. I'm just trying to figure out like, what is that? <laughs> I mean, can we use it to make roads or something? How do I know, like, can I tilt this? I don't see any instructions with this. I need some instructions. Like how high, oh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, look at that, guys. Whoa. Okay. So maybe if I start up on like a hill or something, I can That's why it's not really. Is it at the angle? Okay. So maybe just go like this. That's cool. Uh oh. So, oh my gosh, get back up there. Oh. Can I make like a road all the way to my other base? It looks like I might be able to. Or maybe we can make a wall like to protect us. It is like doing something here. Look at this. There it is, guys. Whoa, look at that. Okay, let's get back to this thing. What in the world, dude? Okay, you go out there. So look at that, we built like a kind of a wall here. Interesting. So, I mean, it's pretty quick and smooth. I like how smooth it is. It is. I mean, it seems like I might be able to do something pretty cool. Just don't know what yet. The f exactly how we're gonna go. It seems like we're going up lightly. So depending on what I put it on is what it stays at. So I have to find something at a specific angle and then work off of it. So we can just do it like this and make like a little road pathway. All right, cool. So now we have a little road that we made. Look at this. That looks pretty cool. I'm curious if it'll go out into the ocean. Oh. Something blew up. Mm, doesn't seem to... Maybe. It, it doesn't... 
apparently it won't go into the deep waters. Okay. So, that's a limit right there. Interesting, but it looks like I can make kind of a wall though. Okay, so let's take a closer look. So it should stay square. We have some connection blocks kind of weirdly on one side. And then on the front. And it doesn't look like there's any on the back. No, none on the back, but on the front we have them, which is odd. Um, interesting. Okay. So we can use these two to do some kind of terrain building. So we have like this little thing. So we made like a little barrier. And hey there, buddy. Let's run you over. There we go. So that would make it hard for these guys to like get over. See, I, I even have a hard time with That, that could be a nice little feature, make a little wall to protect ourselves. Alright, cool. So that works out nice. And we also have a ton of these 3300 on the little bucks, so we can buy some of these things, like these other cabs that I'm curious to play with. So we need to build some of those. And I think there's a few other components also that are in here. Yeah, all right, cool. So now we need to just get to the next level, see if there's anything else after, you know, we get all this stuff here. So I need to refine these things for the next level. But I'm gonna save that for the next episode. So anyway, I want to close up on this episode here, and I think it's a good stopping point. And then probably in the next episode, I'm going to make a base over in the crater area and see if we can get it like secure and get that little dome set up to see if it can help regulate our temperature. Because I don't, I want to test if it will regulate the temperature, whether it's hot or cold, because I don't know. It's called a frost regulator, so it sounds like it only works in the cold, but it would be interesting to see if it works in helping to maintain, you know, in the hot climate so so i don't know we'll have to just see how that goes but you know you guys let me know in the comments what you th think about the crater area and that base that's over there and hopefully the devs will come up with some some items or some kind of points of interest over there that would be kind of cool i feel like that area was lacking a little bit got you know found we found more like cool stuff at these little random uh, crash sites or whatever they are, or maybe collapsed buildings or something like that, that have little stars on it. So I'm not sure where that falls in with, you know, I guess there's probably a storyline to this of some sort. So I guess that, you know, falls in with that. But it seems like they might be setting this up to go to like multiple planets or maps or whatever, maybe to, you know, launch to other locations or something. So I'm not really sure. I haven't been keeping up with, you know, all the dev notes exactly, except for their, just their patch updates. But other than that, I think, you know, so far everything's really cool with this. And I'm curious to play around with some more designs and see just how far I can take this. So definitely we'll be doing more episodes, even though I know the crater seemed like a finale thing. Uh, I think that we can do some more things and experiment with some things that might be unique and different to kind of play with. And I don't know if this is, can we play with co-op in this i don't i haven't really really looked party info oh it looks like it okay well i might have to get somebody in here to, to play around with and maybe do a battle or something maybe we can set up bases on each side of the map and do like some kind of battle against each other you know so you can take over who, whose base if it if it even is like that i don't know if it's like a pvp or pve kind of thing or or just co-op so at any rate, I appreciate you guys, and make sure you like and subscribe on the video and hit the bell notification for more content. And definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments about the crater area and what you thought of this episode so far. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.